Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Let's Go Let's Play! Last time we arrived in Vermilion City, got on a cruise ship, and learned how to cut down a bush! Uh, this time we should be fighting Surge now and getting our third gym badge! But first we must go through the main final boss! That goddamn bush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, actually, speaking of, before we do that, uh, there's some other stuff we need to cover real quick. So I don't know if you remember this guy. Uh, he told, he asked us if we preferred Growlithes or Meowths. Uh, I picked Growlithe, so he tasked us with catching five Growlithes. Oh, uh, yeah. And you want to know what he gave me when uh, I completed that task? What did he give you? A Persian. Ooh! I'm trying to get it up, god damn it! <laughs> there it is. So, this definitely confused me a lot. I'm like, wait, I got you Growlers and you gave me a Persian? I feel kind of robbed. Does that mean if we picked Meowth, if we caught five Meowth, but he gave us an Arcanine? I'm guessing. Oh, that's. We've been robbed, Michael. We've I know, been robbed. right? <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing I could just easily evolve one of the Growlers I already have, but still. Uh, anyway. See, this is why you should have followed my advice and picked me out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's the note. I have no problem with getting a Persian, but i probably not going to add it to the party. But oh, no. we, we do need to give it a name. So, uh, Per. Cat. Dog. Woof. Woof the Persian, then. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be used. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was literally asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, speaking of uh, as well, when I was grinding for these Growlithes, I also caught us an Abra. Oh. Now we can give that one a name. Yeah, exactly. I was considering adding this to the party, but the thing is, though, it, like, I don't like the fact that it only knows teleport. Yeah, you have to put work in to give Abra any kind of move. Yeah, and honestly, at this point, I feel like our team's fine enough as it is. Right, so Abra. Well... Ab. Ba. Sheep. Woolly. Woolly the Abra it is. I mean, it could be fur it has. Could have fur. Yeah, wh what even is an Abra? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> what is that meant to... No, wait. I'm actually going to look it up. Yeah. Now I can't find the thing. Oh, forget it. Let's just move on. <laughs> I give up. Because although obviously its name is meant to be Abracadabra, though. Yeah. What is it actually based on appearance wise? It must be some sort of fox or something. Uh, um, similarities to goats and foxes. With, um, because in quite a few, um, places they're tied to magic. That makes a lot of sense. It also apparently can tie to possums. Because of um, its look and tail. Oh, yeah. It's a psychic possum. I'm sure the Americans in the audience are going, Oh, dear God, no. Yeah, have you, have you seen possums in America? Yeah. <laughs> I went to Florida once and I actually saw one quite up close and they can be a bit... <laughs> stay clear. Yeah, they're awful. It's like you see one, it's ooh. <laughs> it's like rats on steroids. What's the difference between a possum and an opossum? Or are they just the same animal? It's actually a good question. I think they're similar. I think they are... Yeah, I think they are the similar thing. I'm not going to... Yeah, it's the same thing. Opossum, generally referred to as a possum. Th then why do we sometimes call them opossums? <laughs> I think it's because opossum is their actual name and sometimes they're just known as possums. It's one of those things where... The nickname is more well known than the actual one. The animal, you know, we talk about how poke, uh, like, oh, Pokemon's so weird, right? Honestly, the real world Animal Kingdom is weird too. Let's let's be honest. The real world is weird. The real world is very, very weird. I know we all make fun of the fact that, like, oh man, living in the Pokemon world would be terrifying because bees are as big as you. But honestly, have you seen what's down at the bottom of the ocean in the real world? No, that's what's terrifying. <laughs> exactly. At least we at least in the Pokemon world we know it's like full of Gyaradoses and well laws and shit. It's like there's animals in the real world that are just as terrifying that like there's huge wasps in, 
in Asia, there's all that stuff. Like, bugger that. <laughs> and then there's Australia. Just everything that's in Australia. Hmm, I wonder if the coloured bins are important. Yeah, I, I think they probably did done this to make this uh, gym puzzle much easier than in the original. To be fair, I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> I love how that this guy's like, this is no place for kids. It's like, this is a Pokemon gym where kids come to, to battle the leader. Get off your high horse. Go on, fruit. To be fair, it's a Magnemite. Trogdor could have done damage as well. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Because Fruit at this point doesn't actually know any ground moves. It's all just... Don't we have Dig still? Or did we... Oh, yeah, we do. We could teach him Dig. We could, but... Uh, like... Not now, but... <laughs> yeah. Because we're currently in the fight. Okay, shield, mess them up. Oh dear god. Oh. Yeah, I forget that uh, Sonic Boom does like a set amount of damage. Yeah, it's like Dragon Rage. <laughs> okay, that looks cool. Oh yeah, Seismic Toss is always cool. I think that's the best version I've seen of it, honestly. Does it be sent straight out into space and hurtling down to the ground? Well, I think the only reason it even does that is because of the anime when Charizard used it on Magmar. Yeah. And even then, like, Charizard didn't actually go into space. It just circled around around the sky. And then for whatever reason, the anime decided to put it, make it look as if he was circling the globe. Yeah. Even though, he, yeah, it was, a, it was a strange moment. The anime was weird. I think what I'm going to do is actually have a... Shield be our front and center for this gym. Ah, oh, okay. Next one doesn't throw out anything that's weak to fighting. Damn it! <laughs> Sends out a Kadabra. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you meant to be in Saffron Gym? Yeah, I'm a transfer. Oh, we're fighting a rocker. Okay, prepare for the self destruct. Well, this is why we taught Shield Dig. <laughs> oh, son of a! <laughs> it didn't even give us a chance. Sorry, Shield. I'm going, I'm taking you with me! Shield's like, oh yeah, my time to... Aww. Aww. <laughs> I'd laugh if that was his only Pokemon. No, he had a second one. It's like, well, my, I always knew it was a hit, one-hit wonder. What what kind of strategy even is that? I know, like, maybe in the in the competitive scene, there is like maybe, like, some players use explosion or like a self-destruct as like a last resort sort of thing. But like, the NPCs use it like so like poorly. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's just the AI is not that good. Like, I'm going to be honest, dude, that random girl we fought on the SSN put up more of a challenge than you. Like, this is your job. <laughs> hey, he's trying his best. <laughs> Clearly not, because his first <laughs> move was to knock out one of his only two Pokemon. <laughs> Look, as I said, he's a transfer. Thank you for the free experience, I guess. Now I need to <laughs> revive Bloody Shield. Oh, no, you know who he is? Who? He's a supply trainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the actual, the actual gym trainer was sick that day. Yeah, so they had to get the, they had to get the new guy in, and oh, he got too excited and self-destructed one of his only two Pokemon. There we go. Should we put, po yeah, potion up shield? Honestly, this gym's going way better than I expected so far. Yeah, 
Probably because there's only like, there's only three trainers here and it's just like a big square grid. I say you could just ignore them, but, or do we have to fight them? I can't, I think you can potentially avoid them, but I'm just going to get the experience anyway. I was about to say, it was that thing of, oh yeah, you can avoid them. It's like, yeah, but are you though? Because you need the experience. Especially in this, in this game. Also, we completely spoke over it there, like, just a reminder, Lieutenant Surge was actually in an army. Like, it's not oh, just yeah. a, like, he's called a lieutenant for a reason. But now the question begs, why is there an army? <laughs> well, remember, this is back in the day when he was called the Lightning American. Yeah, they don't call him that anymore, but in the original no. games they, they called him that, which everyone going, like, there's an America in Pokemon? Well, to remember, back in the that Kanto is an actual region in Japan. Yeah, exactly. I like to believe that um, Lieutenant Surge originated from Unova. Yeah, makes sense. But that would be the equivalent. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, though, that the implication of an army also begs... It creates the implication of a war. Which is like, so what war was this? I was about to be smart as a Pokemon Conquest, but that's like... No Banaga times, that doesn't work. I mean, I suppose Pokemon Conquest could be canon to the mainline games. Yeah, because they have talked about wars in the past. Like medieval times, or the equivalent of in the Pokemon games. So, hmm, it's possible. Yeah, so, it's you just... This really isn't that good of a puzzle when you think about it because you're just checking random trash cans until you find the correct ones and so just remember where the one you did pick is and then that's it you're done it's like ah let's make it that it reactivates every time they get one wrong it's like but we just hold on that one was literally under the one we just picked I wonder if the positions... It's pro it probably is the same every time. I doubt it's the difference. Can you imagine if it was randomised? And we just got very lucky for that one. <laughs> it would make sense. So to stop you like, on your like repeat playthroughs. For, or like looking up a guide or something. In America. You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. <laughs> what, what, what did you think I was going to say? Oh my god, a Pokemon battle is war! It's really not, Surge! I think you need- I think you need help! Oh god, he's one- he's one of those former soldiers that never quite left the army. I have a Vault on too! Okay, now make sure not to self-destruct this time. He's a gym leader. I like to believe he's a bit smarter than that. And I just saw that difference in level. And oh dear God! Oh dear! That's uh, that's not good. Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> I can't even blame Shield for that. That that level different. It's like I think I got cocky after I was able to kind of steamroll both Brock and Misty. <laughs> Which, oh my god, that makes sense though, because, like, in the anime, Ash, like, you know, he never technically beat Brock, but, like, got a pity badge. He never technically beat Misty, but they gave him a badge, oh, just because he would have won. Surge was his first proper, like, wall. Yeah. Because he lost that fight the first time. Oh, we should have given Fruit some, a uh, dig. It's, a, it's okay, Fruit's got this. I believe in fruit. <laughs> Without context, it's sort of like, <laughs> you don't need to believe in fruit, Michael. It's good for you, regardless of your beliefs. It's it's literally scientifically proven that fruit is good for you. Then again, we're living in an age where flat earth is a comeback. You know there's going to be some smart ass or dumb ass that's going to go, oh, fruit's not actually good for you. My granddad ate an apple, and guess what? He died when he was 92! <laughs> it didn't keep the doctors away. Well, it's like that logic, you know, someone's like, if you think about it, everyone who's ever drank water has died. <laughs> Clearly water's bad for you. Oh yeah, scientist. If we're made out of so much water, why can we still drown? <laughs> Do 
Before people think I'm being serious, I'm not. I did. <laughs> Uh, they know you're smart. At least I hope I'm smart. SMRT. I still think my favourite is when, like, someone asks, like, the Flat Earth Society, why is there no Flat Mars Society? And they said, well, that's because Mars has been proven to be round. Oh, sorry, I blacked out for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, fr friggin' Skype. <laughs> I think Surge whacked me, and oh dear, there's the Raichu. I'm shocked he's bringing this out now, because I feel he's still got one other Pokemon aside from this. Turns out he's got two Raichus. I sincerely doubt that. It's okay. He's holding his own. Okay, well I've poisoned it now, so at this point it's just gonna be we're just gonna be waiting for Raichu to faint. Just just suck it up. Now I could try and replicate the anime by having a uh, Cadbury's fight Raichu, but I'm not gonna do that, because that seems really stupid. Especially in the level difference. Exactly. Also, yes, I'm sure you could beat it just with quick attack and all a lot. I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> to be fair, that zippy zap move like killed everything it's it's coming to contact with. So true. Ooh, hold on, Pad. Pad's got this. Nice crit. MVP. <laughs> Pad is our best Pokemon, and this is why I always pick Bulbas. I am shocked how easily I dealt with that Raichu. Like, after that Voltorb just one-shot shield, I got very concerned. It's like, oh, shit. Man, I really thought teaching Dig to shield was like, oh, this is going to be like Shield's gym, this is. And then it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Search smashed us into the ground and just went, no! Shield's going to have such a complex by the end of this game. <laughs> to be fair, Shield held their own in the last last episode. True. It's just this episode, it was like... And to be fair, they're the... I think they're our, our lowest member, or at least one of them. Yeah, definitely. Oh, dear God! Oh, shit. That Magnemite just one-shotted us. Pad. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, because it's part steel. I don't think that's going to help much. Uh, fruit. I feel like, yeah, I feel like fruit's like also like our second best shot because they don't exactly have the moves to easily take the uh, Surge's Pokemon out, but they can just tank the hits. Just keep throwing those rocks. And, oh. No, it's, it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, yeah, no, I forgot Rock's not effective at all against Steel. How is the Raichu the easiest one to deal with? <laughs> I guess because we had like a proper strategy of like, let's poison it, leech seed it, and just, and just let it die. Maybe I should have like just swapped a pad for this one. Oh no. Sonic Boom, I hate that game! <laughs> I mean, apparently the 3DS version was okay. <laughs> oh yay, the 3DS version. Surely the version everyone was meant to play. We're going to give S.H.I.E.L.D. another chance. Yeah, well, I, I just don't think Fruit's like... Oh, yep, there we go. Fruit is down. Fruit is down. 
Something has gone very wrong when my ground type like got taken out at the electric gym. Yeah. <laughs> when does Geodude evolve into gra uh, Graveler? I don't know. And I forgot about the level. Oh my god, shield was faster! Yes! Ha! Oh, the crit as well. Where'd he go, shield? Shield hitting back. Ooh. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Surge, I'm as shocked as you are. We just made it through that. <laughs> God. I'm a little bit of a nervous wreck now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'm not bitter or anything. Take your <laughs> stupid thunder badge. I didn't want it anyway. Cadbury's, you did nothing during that fight. <laughs> not that's to be fair, that's not his fault. Like I deliberately didn't send him out. Yeah. Cadbury's was cheerleading on the sidelines. I can't, he gave me what? <laughs> Why did he give us his autograph? Yeah, bloody better not be. Thank you. I would teach that to Cadbury's, but they learned it naturally. Turns out fruit can learn it somehow. You know what? Let's check. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. I am, who... I am very sure he can't. Oh my god, Shield can learn it? What? Oh my god. I'm almost tempted. I mean, what, what's shield type of moves? I mean, we can't get rid of the two fighting type moves. Dig and... Yeah, uh, kar Karate Chop, Focus Energy, Dig and Seismic Toss. I'm sorry, that shocked me from her. Like, wait. <laughs> ha, it shocked you. I get it. Oh, hang on a second. I just realised. Yeah, I forgot. Like, uh, what has cavalry has got to say? Because the little icons appeared. Also, I love it that the Lieutenant Surge has an insta-bush outside because it's immediately grown back. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. So, have we got any berries? For, uh, there you go. I love the little <laughs> movie just made like, give me the berry. Even though you were not involved in the fight whatsoever. <laughs> he provided moral support. Mm hmm. Wait, what? Misty? I'm not used to like all these differences. This is actually really cool. Oh, thank you, Misty. I was just on my way to do that. Ah, uh, this is pretty much the game's way of telling you, go here, stupid. <laughs> It's like, don't get lost. I'm sure I can find it. I, I was... Oh, friggin' hell. Okay, fine. I'm... Because I think if I remember correctly, when in the original game, there was no indication that you had to go this way. I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's literally just right here. We literally missed nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Have we healed up everyone? Oh, yeah. Miss Misty just healed us. Oh, that's all right. then. There's no reason to visit the Pokemon Center. I mean, I guess... Hmm. Wait, let me check my map real quick. Because I'm trying to remember... Okay, so Route 12. Oh, that goes away to Lavender Town. Oh, wait, no. We won't be able to go this way because the Snorlax is going to be in the way, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we are probably going to have to go through Diglett Cave anyway. Uh, You know what? We, because we got, the, we got the gym battle out of the way, so we may as well stop it here. I know, I know it's a short part, but honestly, I think I could do with a short episode to edit for a change. I was about to say, the last, especially last episode, how long? <laughs> oh, that went for so long. It's, uh, whatever, let's just call it here. I'm already tired. <laughs> that, ba <laughs> that battle took me out of it. Actually, wait, no. Before we go, I want to double check that autograph Lieutenant Surge gave us, because I still don't understand why he gave us that. Just a little bit of flavour. 
I guess. He wrote good luck. Aw, oh, thanks, Serge. See, he's a nice guy, really. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, but may as well call it there, guys. So uh, we'll see you next time for another episode. Bye, all. Bye.